Welcome to All Red's Restaurant, famous for its location at the top of the gondola, a wonderful selection of wine, great service, and high quality cuisine. Today we're making a hamachi sashimi with seaweed salad and Asian pear vinaigrette. Does that sound good or what? Bob Scherner is here to show us the correct way to cut Japanese yellowtail, which is a key ingredient for this dish. Bob, what's the next step? Well, the next step is to find um, a piece of fish that is tremendously fresh. And we have a really nice piece of hamachi here, which is um, also called Japanese yellowtail. And it's, um, you can tell it's very fresh because it's got a lot of red redness to the, uh, to the bloodline and, and that sort of thing. Sashimi is, should be cut a little bit thicker than you normally would for like sushi or, or, or rolls or anything like that. So I'm just gonna use my knife. Wait, I'll do one more and then I'll let you do a couple. Okay. There you go. I'll just jump right in. Okay, so does this look about right? Maybe a little thinner than that, yeah. A little bit thinner, okay. Just and nice. Just let the knife do the work. There you go. Perfect. Really? Okay, so we have our fish sliced. This is a combination of a bunch of different uh, seaweeds. There's wakami, hajiki, um, and some other types of seaweeds with a little bit of rice wine vinegar. So I'm just gonna do a little bit on the plate, just like so. And then however you want to arrange the fish, I'm just gonna go straight over the top. So simple is better. I think so. I think, uh, you know, it's all about the ingredients. Okay, what I have is a little uh, fleur de sel, flower of the sea. I'm gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of sea salt right on top. And this does two things, it adds texture and flavor. Um, after that, I have some diced Asian pear. I also have a little bit of vinaigrette that I've made from rice wine vinegar, um, sesame oil, and some sesame seeds. I'm just gonna combine those two. So I'm just gonna kind of drizzle this around the fish kind of spoon that around. I have some uh, daikon sprouts and you could arrange them in a bundle if you want. I kind of like to kind of spread them out a little more spontaneous and fun that way. Mm -hmm. This aged uh, soy sauce. Oh I'm goodness. just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of that around. That's the uh, Japanese yellowtail with seaweed salad and Asian pear vinaigrette. Wonderful. All Reds is starting to get busy and the kitchen is heating up. It's time to get comfortable and enjoy one of the best restaurants in Telluride. The bar area is such a fun space. It's the perfect place to meet up with friends, grab a cocktail and hunker down for a wonderful evening full of great service and yummy cocktails, not to mention wonderful food. Which by the way, it's time for a little taste of that sashimi that we made earlier this evening. It's full service in the bar as well. Expect the same great service and an award-winning wine list as well. So what does an award-winning wine list mean? Well, it's a tough designation to get. Here's the criteria. The depth of the vintage has to be geographically diverse and hard to get sought after wine. And that's what makes the wine list here at All Reds so special. If awards were given for great views, All Reds would get first prize. Watch the gondola, town of Telluride, and wildlife on the ski mountain while dining. But if a faster pace is more your style, All Reds offers an up close and personal treat, dining at the chef's table. This is a little torchon of foie gras. It's a cold preparation of foie gras with uh, golden raisins and an aged sherry vinaigrette. The chef explains each course, from appetizer to dessert to samples of wine. You're tasting the finest cuisine on the menu, specially selected by the chef. With a little seaweed salad and an Asian pear vinaigrette. When the sun goes down, the romance goes up at All Reds. Take in the twilight of Telluride, dining after dark. It's all at All Red's Restaurant.